nice warm January day here in Florida. It's about 62 degrees at about 10 a.m. Skeeter the duck is outside playing in the yard, aren't you, Skeeter? Where you going, huh? What you doing? You playing outside? Yeah? <laughs> well, anyway, we're back to discuss uh, Volkswagen starters, particularly on air-cooled uh, Volkswagens. Um, for almost every year, uh, manual transmission, uh, Volkswagen use the same starter, whether it be on, on a Beetle, uh, a bus, a Carmen Ghia, a Type 3, uh, they all use the same starters. Until the automatic transmissions came along. Uh, here's uh, all three of the starters that uh, appear on air-cooled Volkswagens, and this is the first time I've ever had all three of them in my possession at the same time. In the middle is your typical Beetle starter, and it'll fit on just about, uh, just about every Volkswagen that has a, a manual transmission, with exception of buses from 1976 to 79. This is a, a bus starter from 76 to 79. And you can see the difference in the starter shaft, and that's the only difference. The starter shaft is uh, is a little longer, and the uh, Bendix gear that you see right here is actually uh, offset from where it is on the uh, the Beetle starter. Off to the right, we have an automatic starter, and this goes on to any um, any Type Two, Type Three, or Type Four automatic transmission. Now you might notice that the Bendix gears line up on the automatic to the uh, standard Type One starter. And these are actually interchangeable on a manual transmission. That's right. You can put the automatic starter into a manual transmission car. But you cannot put the manual starter into the automatic because there's no place to put this uh, little stub that comes out of the starter. It's just it, there's no place for it to plug into the transmission. So it's kind of interesting that uh, these are the three different starters that Volkswagen has used on all of their air-cooled cars. Um, the automatic, of course, was found also in the... Um, um, what did I call them? The uh, semi-automatic transmissions, the uh, automatic stick shift. So you'll find one of these starters in there also. And that was found in the Type 1s, Type 3s, and I think that was it. I don't think Type 4s or Type 2s had the automatic stick. But they did have fully automatic transmissions in the Type 2s and Type 3s and Type 4s. Again, they use the same starter. But uh, there they are. Kind of interesting. This long shaft starter for a uh, late bus from 76 to 79 is actually what's going to go into this dune buggy. Because this dune buggy has a 1978 uh, bus transmission in it. Um, there it is right there. That's where we're going to mount to. There's this mounting flange right over here. So we'll get that put in there in another video. Watch for it. You doing, Skeeter? <laughs> Did you find your yum yums? You find them? Get them. Get those yum yums. Get them.